Hi, I'm Julian. Today we will do a survey with the Wing One surveying drone. You will see how to plan a flight, how to collect aerial images and how to safely interact with the drone at any time. Below us along the lake there is a road. Our job is to get an accurate map of the road itself and of the mountain on top of it. With the aerial images we will produce an orthomosaic map, a point cloud and a digital elevation model of the site. This is a challenging job for three reasons. First, there is a high altitude difference of 500 meters between the highest and the lowest point in the map. Second, we want to cover 120 hectares in only one flight. And third, we have to take off on a confined space on this small road. Winter One is perfect for this job, as it's a fixed wing drone offering large coverage that can still take off and land vertically. It carries a high-resolution Sony RX1 R2 camera with 42 megapixels, a full-frame sensor and a low distortion lens. Then, below the top cover, you can see where the magic happens. This is a GNSS PPK module. Together with the data of a continuously operating reference station, it will geotag our images with centimeter level accuracy. To fly safely and get good images, let's check the weather conditions. Today is a good day for flying. There is no fog, no rain and no snow. In general, the best time for surveying is around midday. The shadows are short and there is enough light. And then there is wind, which is a key factor for drone flying. So we have to measure the wind speed on ground before taking off. Right now, we have zero meter per second of wind, which is of course safe to fly. Wing to one can handle wind speed on ground up to eight meter per second. Let's move the drone for takeoff and look into flight planning. The drone comes with a Samsung Galaxy tablet and a preloaded application called Wingtra Pilot. This is your only interface to interact with the drone. We planned the flight already in the office. If you need to, you can also plan it in the field by drawing a shape and adjusting the corners. Here you can set the ground sampling distance. For our job, we need 4 cm per pixel. Winter Pilot features a terrain following option. When turned on, it will automatically adjust the fly tide according to the terrain. With the terrain following option enabled, we will fly safely around the mountain. And we will get the map with consistent ground sampling distance despite the elevation difference of the site. Before taking off, Winter Pilot guides you with a pre flight checklist to make sure that the components like GPS and sensors are ready. Once you have completed the checklist, you should make sure that the airspace is free, that nobody is close to the drone. Finally, it's time to take off. Press play and slide to confirm. After its vertical takeoff, the drone transitions into forward flight fixed wing mode. When it reaches the altitude and position we selected, it will start collecting images according to the flight plan. Because Wing to One's takeoff, flight and landing are completely autonomous, you normally don't have to interact with it. Your only job during the flight is to observe the drone and make sure that nothing is in the airspace. In case you need to take manual control of the drone, you have several options. You can either press pause so that the drone will loiter in the air. Or you can press return to home. This will make the drone safely returning back to where it started. You can resume the mission at any time from both of these states using the play button. In case of an emergency, it is possible to shut off the drone completely with the red cross. But note that the drone will shut off the motors immediately and fall to the ground. We are not in an emergency, so let's cancel this. By now, the Wing One has been in the air for more than 30 minutes and has completed the surveying mission. If something is in the way during the automated landing, you can take over and land manually. By pressing pause during landing, you cause the drone to stop mid-air and hold its position while it is waiting for your next commands. With the right side buttons, you can command the Wing One to move forward, backward,
right and left. With the left side buttons, you can command the drone to move up and down. Or to turn around its axis. To land the drone, press down with the left button. Or you can also press the land on the spot button. This will make the drone land automatically. The green message means that the images and GPS files have been successfully collected and saved on the camera SD card. Make sure that the dataset is complete and check the images. After the flight, we used the Wingtra Hub application to assign accurate geolocations to the images. For photogrammetry processing, we used Stanpix4D although most major photogrammetry software are compatible with Winter One's images. In this image, we see that the tunnel portal and the bend of the road are particularly exposed to rock falls and landslides. With the data from multiple flights, it will be possible to measure earth movement over time, to predict landslides and to implement preventive measures to keep the road safe. Drone data like this can also be used for many other different applications. Export the point cloud, elevation models, and orthomosaic to your GIS or CAD applications to enrich your existing data. Thanks a lot for joining us on this survey with the Wing One drone. If you want to know more about the drone and its applications, please follow the links in the description. And if you have any questions, please use the comment section below.